all right y'all this is part two because all right so yesterday i actually went to my friend's house and they are professional dog breeders and so they had um there was multiple pregnant dogs there but actually they had um like you know lizards all types of animals over there so i took me and my daughter over there and we were gonna put the babies in the pool so they could chill um right when i go take the baby outside to put her in the pool she pees on my leg so i go inside and literally the dog was about was giving birth the dog gave birth to one of the um one of the um puppies already so i'm like oh yeah i'm so glad i came inside because you know we didn't want to miss this because i would have been outside that pool you know what i'm saying so we, we, we got to witness i got to witness for the first time a dog give birth to like it was um i'm not sure how many puppies i, I think um it was 13 puppies but um so i gave that dog a little pep talk too before you know when i first met her I gave that dog a little pep talk before she gave birth. I'm like, I hope you have a great pregnancy. And the first one was a boy. And look what popped out. The sun. The first puppy was a boy. So I feel like somebody's getting ready to give birth to a boy. And this is a continuation because remember I said somebody was blocking you from giving birth. A third party situation. Somebody's trying to block you. Not a pentacle. I'll take that one with the hierophant okay and the page of cups which is a pregnancy as well so let's clarify these cords eight of wands at the bottom so somebody's trying to block you from having this child this son you some someone's getting ready to have a son the hierophant is here so the hierophant is somebody's stuff that's in a it's a commitment the hierophant is a commitment in this case What's the sun? Which is like marriage. What's the sun? Or it could just be like a serious commitment, you know? I saw 717 before I got on here. It was 717. The sun. What's the sun? Highest most divine message. Angels. Five of wands. Yeah. Conflict. Someone is trying to compete with you. Someone is trying to send you attacks on your womb the sun again what the fuck the sun again wheel of fortune this is supposed to happen you guys are supposed to have this sun the sun has a light the sun has a light to him the sun is of the light the sun is a light worker the sun is a divine being wheel of fortune this is your good karma so for, for those of y'all, some of y'all are going to get sick, start to get sick. Um, some of y'all are going to start to get sick when it comes to um, you know, like morning sickness, right? Also, this is like, um, this could be like a rainbow baby. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, look, I said rainbow baby. And look, he's holding a baby. Uh, and there's a dog right there. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Okay, so some of you guys, and look, he, the grandpa is giving that baby a gift. That baby is going to be so gifted, y'all. He's going to have so many gifts. What's the king of, oh my gosh. The king of wands fell all the way over here with the hierophant. So the hierophant could be this king of wands. So this king of wands, we're going to clarify that. We're going to clarify that. But get let's get back to this. Because I feel like somebody's getting ready to get blessed with this son. And they're getting ready to get sick because they're going to have more than sickness with this sun right here. But it won't be for too long. The sun. This is, okay. Wow, the tower. This is going to be a tower for somebody. This is going to be a tower for that bitch, that queen, um, the ice queen, because she's mad. She's going to be mad because everything that she tried to block, whatever, that shit is still going to come. Fuck out of here. Three of cups. Queen of, oh, queen of cups and fucking reverse. This bitch is an unloving bitch. She's a witch. That's why I saw 444. She was trying to block you. She was trying to block you. This queen of wands. Wow. So you're the queen of wands in this situation. You're the high priestess and the queen of wands. 
she's an unloving bitch. That's why, okay, so you guys are like a perfect match, king and queen of wands. He wants to marry you. He wants to have a higher commitment. The high priestess, he feels like you're very intuitive. The higher fun. Shadow side. And then we got another energy here. There's also another high priestess that is working out of her shadow side. She is a karmic. She could be, okay, so there could be his energy, right? There is a bitch that tries to act like she is loving. She tries to act like she used to, at least. She used to act like this. But now, she suffers from not being able to see herself in the mirror. She's not able to see her true self in the mirror. So she may think that she's coming off one way when really she's coming off a whole nother way. Do you know what I mean? It's like somebody that's trying to... It's like somebody that's literally making it clear to everybody else that they don't give a fuck about nobody but they sell. But they still over here trying to convince people that they're trying to... Like they have your best in interest. It's like that. Somebody's really in their shadow side. They, but they're unable to see it. Look. You see how that person looked. It's like, okay, this bitch right here, she look like she hiding. Like she been exposed type shit. This nigga right here looking for her ass. He over here looking for her ass. And this is your divine masculine over here like, bitch, what the fuck did you do? What did you do? You making us look real stupid out here. Looking real stupid with the high priestess. Yeah, this bitch is cut off from her gifts as well. She's being cut off from her gifts. That's why she's acting like that. She's acting retarded. All right. She's getting cut off by your masculine too because she's a money hungry bitch. Queen of Pentacles, again. She's a money hungry bitch. So you guys are dealing with a Virgo and you're dealing with um, a Pisces. Somebody could be a Leo here or have Leo in their chart. There's a Scorpio. There is also Sagittarius. Hmm. Cancer. All right. Three of Swords here. Somebody is heartbroken because they feel like they're alone. And this is this Queen of Pentacles. She's heartbroken. She feels like she's alone. So now she's hiding behind the scenes doing magic and shit. This is someone that only cares about themselves. They're a narcissist. Like they 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 sit, they try to sit on their high horse. They they like or at least they act like it, right? So this is someone that is obsessed with their self or and obsessed with um other people that they feel like bring value to them or like they, they like to possess people, right? They're very manipulative with their actions. So this is... The, the Queen of Wands is a whore. She's a whore. So this is a whore. We're talking about a whore. All right. So enough of that. What's the Three of Cups? Basic bitch and her friends. That's what I heard. A basic bitch and her friends. That's what I heard, y'all. Three of Cups. Eight of Wands. Three of Pentacles with the Emperor again. Interesting. With the Five of Cups. All right. So we got communication coming in from... This could be someone that is going to offer you a money opportunity. This could be a stable person. A collaboration. Somebody wants to reconcile with you. They're going to tell you this. They're going to come to you with communication. Direct communication. Someone is trying to manifest you. They're manifesting you, your emperor. Your emperor is manifesting you, your divine masculine. They view you as a missed opportunity because they was over here fucking with this siren bitch, over here fucking with this um, narcissist bitch. Let's look at your cups. The fool. Yeah, they feel stupid. I'm not even gonna lie, they feel dumb. They feel stupid. All right. This, this is uh, turned over. Because the truth came out about this person, I guess. Alright, what's this? What's this ace of swords? Knight of Wands, that this bitch was a hoe. Yeah, like I said, this bitch was a hoe. He found out. Some type of um some type of truth came to light. Like it could have been he found some messages or somebody said something. Some type of direct communication though. So now he wants to reconcile with you and he wants to work shit out. He's trying to manifest you back. He could be using spell work. He could be doing like, you know, spells. Or, like, manifestations, like, thinking about you and, like, masturbating. Shit like that, you know? Doing the most. Doing the most. I'm 
bringing in another energy that I feel like you guys are like doing, you know, you guys are going to hang out with your friends and stuff like that. Your divine masculine could be messaging you while you're out with your friends. And he's like missing you. He's regretting things. Um, so this is going to make him come in real fast with some type of truth. Like he wants to tell you the truth about something. Hmm. It's like some type of new beginning. It's going to be through communication though. So he wants to tell you something. And then he wants to fuck. <laughs> so he want to come in and tell you something. Then he want to fuck. So we already know what's going on over here with this fucking high priest. I mean this um, hierophant energy. This person wants to marry you. They were dealing with the unloving person. Who was very manipulative. The queen of wands is a witch as well. He's the king of swords now to this person. He doesn't want to deal with her. He's like really harsh towards her. Um, oh. Yeah, he's, 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 he used to be very loving towards her. And now he's very harsh. He's in his shadow side. He's like, okay. With this high priestess here. This high priestess is working out of her shadow side as well. And she's only worried about money. And that's her problem. There's a third party here as well. This could be like outside of your person's person, your person's other person. This is like this is the karmic, but this is a karmic, but this is not your person's karmic. This could be someone else's karmic. This could be your karmic divine um, feminine. This person is heartbroken by you. This person also feels alone, and they're over here in the scene, behind the scenes, doing black magic and shit. This person could be a Virgo. If you broke another Virgo's heart or this could be the same Virgo but I don't I'm getting a different energy like this could be another Virgo okay interesting mm. Mm. there's two Virgos this person is like very yeah they're heartbroken I'm thinking about you over and over again so Pisces They have a lot of anxiety. This bitch also, like I said, since she's working out of her, her shadow side, this bitch is being cut off from her gifts and she's in permanent, like, heartbreak. Like, she is heartbroken. You ever heard of that shit where it says, like, you could die from a broken heart? It's like that. What's the page of cups? The star. Wow, the healer the star ten of cups the page of cups with the star this baby is going to be a fucking celebrity she's gonna he she he i'm getting it's a son it's gonna be a whole celebrity in this bitch okay this child is gonna have gifts out the ass this emperor in reverse is mad as hell look because y'all gonna be a family y'all gonna be together shining in the spotlight there's an empress here in reverse what does this empress in reverse want Ace of Wands. This Empress in Reverse overseeing shit. She she's basically manipulating the energy. She could try to get your person to sleep with them again. Yeah, that's what she wants. Okay, what's the Ace of Wands with the with the magician? Page of Wands. Yeah, she's just being childish. She wants okay. She wants your person to sleep with them. So she's trying to like switch out. She wants the child, but that's not how that works, bitch. Um, what's the what's the Empress and the Magician? Knight of Swords. So this person is gonna try to say some bullshit to you. She's gonna try and like, basically, she's overseeing everything, and she is gonna try and come in with some type of communication to manipulate the energy, and it's gonna be real childish. It's gonna be real fucking childish. She's gonna say some bullshit. The lovers and the seven of swords she's not going to be able to get away with something so she this person has another lover and she worried about y'all she has another lover and she worried about y'all this information is going to come out okay what's the what's the of pentacles this is evidence high priest it's a pentacles karma yeah some information is going to come out and it's going to be her karma it's going to be her fucking karma because she lied about something she fucking lied 
Okay, what she lie about? We're gonna get to the bottom. What what she lie about? Oh child, she been doing hella illusions. Hella illusions. Hella fucking illusions. She got plenty options. She over here worried about child though. The world. Yeah, something is ending with the world and the death. World and the death? What? That's a major ending. That's a major loss. What the fuck are you talking about? Scorpio energy. This lie is going to bring... this. The illumination of this lie is going to bring a major fucking ending. Yeah, the moon. Something here is being illuminated. Okay. So what is this? I'm going to I'm going to get the kipper out. Fuck that. I'm getting the kipper out. We're going to find out today. Hmm. Of course, we already know though. So, let's see who this bitch is and what does she want? This is your person's karmic, but I also see another karmic energy that could be your karmic. Could be a, another Virgo or a Pisces as well. There's a Leo here. A Sagittarius. A Taurus. And a Scorpio. We gonna get the kipper out. We gonna get the kipper out. Ooh. And I'm gonna get an oracle for y'all. Archangel Michael, I call you and I ask you to please protect us while we channel these energies. Thank you. I'm grateful. Amen. Past that relationship at the bottom. So spirit angels and guys of the highest well light, please tell me the tea about this high priestess working on her shadow side. What's the high priestess working on her shadow side for? What's what's what she want? What she want? House keeps. I keep seeing house. House popped out again. Look, I can't make this shit up. House with the courthouse. Wow, somebody got child support. Main female. This the hoe. This the other woman. Message of concern. So this bitch is going to get a message of concern at the courthouse about this child support. Hmm. Hmm. What's the message of concern, spirit? Sudden wealth in reverse. <laughs> Sudden wealth in reverse. She ain't getting no money. Sudden wealth in reverse. Adjudication and poverty. This is her karma. She's going to receive judgment at the courthouse in front of mad people about this child support. She's going to end up in poverty. She's getting judged. Adjudication. This is not just the judge. This is also her family. Your divine masculine's family. Her own friends that she got in cahoots to try to attack you. I'm doing this shit backwards for some reason. Mate, what's the main female? A false person. We already know that. She's a false fucking bitch. What's the main female? Distant horizons. So in the distant horizons, a child in reverse. This child is not yours. Family room in fucking reverse. Look, we're in imprisonment. This child is not fucking yours. Okay? This is not a family. Courthouse. That's the message of concern. Courthouse, official person. Courtship in re fucking reverse. Marriage. Okay, so my guys are saying that that's not supposed to be in reverse. This person. Okay, the reason why I came out in reverse is because they're no longer courting this false bitch right here. They want to court you now. So it's in, it's in reverse because they were in a commitment with this person, this main female. And now they want to come marry you. But this is after the adjudication. Actually, this is before. They, they're having thoughts about this before. Thoughts. 
they're having thoughts about this already all right so wealthy man this person could be a wealthy man what's the house privileged woman in this house so there's a privileged woman in this house who's a privileged woman spirit i see community a community hall so we got occupation unexpected income house occupation privileged lady so this bitch could have been like a housewife so it could be like a housewife or somebody that this okay this wealthy man could have been paying this person hmm this mature woman is here but let's see i'm not sure why maybe this person thought she was mature no more clarification he's in despair wow okay so this mature woman could be in despair this mature woman could have lost her income something here about occupation what is this occupation and this unexpected income with this mature woman spirit high honor expectation so this person was expecting some type of income she was expecting to basically just be a privileged housewife expecting some type of income to just sit in the house all day toil and labor she wanted your person to do all the work something is going on with this person's job this person could um what's going on thief thief this person steals for a living or like okay they do a job that's not um like they could be a scam artist she could be you know she could be telling multiple wealthy men that they're that she's pregnant and she's not really pregnant by them 22 yeah i just yeah mm -hmm, 22 12 when i said that she literally she does this this is what she does this is her plan there's a mature woman here but who is this mature woman this is mature woman is a separate energy i feel like this is like um her mother this is like her mother so her okay there's a privileged lady here in this house she could be getting paid to stay in the house or something or she's getting paid like her rent paid by this wealthy man this was this is going on in the past y'all this is not happening no more this is why you know all this shit is going on they go into court and stuff so basically she tried to stay home with the money that her this this wealthy man was giving her and she was giving it to her mama or some shit like that her mama had was in cahoots with her somebody mama okay now this person is in despair because they could have missed they could have lost their job or something and now they're stealing they're basically stealing now that's that's what they're doing yeah okay all right anything else spirit the lovers what's the lovers message so you're gonna get a message from your lover we know that already yeah expectation we already know these are in reverse that's why i fucking flipped it over but okay so let's see advice for the divine feminine that is dealing with us shit i'll get advice for advice for divine masculine too shit because y'all need it dealing with this bitch all right if what is advice the highest most divine advice children children past life what is the highest most divine advice for divine masculine spirit angels and guys he's going through this so let's let's go do him first what's the highest most divine advice for divine masculine children again your love life is being affected by children and religious factors religious factors is magic okay black magic as well as your spiritual path but this is like you know so advice for you is you deserve love divine masculine not a manipulative ass bitch release your ex okay you don't deserve that bitch okay you deserve real love that's your yeah unrequited love codependency this bitch is codependent on you you have a love that is worth waiting for in divine timing okay that's what that's for you divine masculine that's for you 
This bitch is codependent on you and it's unrequited. You know you don't love this bitch, so just release her. Just release her. You need to get on your journey. You need to listen to your intuition. You know. Just know that this is all a lesson. Divine timing is at work. So that means that everything is being orchestrated. There is a lesson that you had to learn in this. I realized that, um, you know, even though that we get into relationships that are karmic and stuff like that, these karmic relationships, you know, we, we may feel like we don't deserve this, this and that, why we have to go through this, blah, 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 because we have a lesson that we need to learn. You may have been too giving to the wrong people. You may have been like, um, you know, too much of a hoe. And maybe you committed to the wrong person. And the reason why you committed to the wrong person is because you needed to learn what the fuck you was dishing out by being a hoe. That's what you needed to learn first before you get your real person, before you recognize your real person, because your person was already there in front of you. You wasn't able to recognize it because you was too busy being a hoe. That is the fucking lesson. Okay, Divine Masculine? So what is the highest, most divine message for Divine Feminine? Spirit, angels, and guys of the highest white light. This could be the one you've already met the partner you seek. Okay, we know that. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Children is involved here. Ask for um, and accept support from others. So, basically, yeah, free yourself in wedding. Trust in the divine. So, basically, um, divine feminine, the only thing, the advice for you is you already know that this is your person. You already know that this is going on, you know. If you are a high priestess, divine feminine, you know that this child is not his. And you know that he is engaged in this situation. And you just got to let it play out. Ask, pray for your person. Ask for support. And also, you know, you're having trouble as well because your person is dealing with this bullshit instead of, you know, being on a spiritual path with you. So pray, just pray and have faith. Free yourself from this situation. Take back control because if you're entangled in this mess, he cannot do anything. You know what I'm saying? He can't fix it if you're with him. He can only fix it if you separate your energy. Wedding is coming. There's a wedding that's coming. Trust in the situation. This is your soulmate. Okay? Let go of control issues. Do not help him. You can't help him. Okay? The only thing that you can do is teach him from afar. You can, you know, give him guidance from afar honeymoon is coming okay this is you need to separate from your person so he can go through this okay um you know love him from afar pray for him if he messages you you know answer him or don't but at the end of the day you know be okay so he does want to flirt with you okay advice for if divine um masculine communicates with my family what is advice healing family issues express your love okay so Express what you have to say. He's over here healing family issues. Or if you do have a child with him, that's what he wants to do. He wants to heal family issues. And he is going to express his love to you. It's saying express yourself. If he reaches out to you, express yourself. He's going to reveal something to you. Like I said, he's going to tell you the truth. He's going to reveal yourself, um, himself to you or whatever the fuck was going on. He's going to tell you, okay? He's going to tell you the truth. And your bond is going to deepen. And it's saying to work on your partnership, okay? Give this a chance. He's going to make the effort that he's got to take. It is safe for you to love this person. Okay? Open your heart. Work on your heart chakra. You know, keep on doing your meditations. Keep on drinking your tea. Minding your fucking business. That's what the advice for Divine Feminine is. Um, your lesson in this situation, I feel, is... You could have been... Um, keep taking this person back time after time like you know letting them basically do all this extra shit while dealing with the karmic but still dealing with you and basically this is your lesson to you know allow people to handle their situations by themselves because divine feminine is naturally a very giving person very loving person unconditional love so they understand situations um before you even express it so that's why they deal with certain things but the lesson for divine feminine is sometimes you know you can understand something from afar okay you can you can feel for somebody and love somebody from afar let them handle their bullshit because you don't want to be entangled in that mess okay um divine feminine you will have your person and you will get your due justice all right so